So one of the first modifications that people do to their jazz bass is having something like a blend knob or a blend circuit going from volume volume tone to master volume a blend knob tone. So instead of having to use the two volume pots to get the blend that you want, it's just simplified into one. Three things that are different between this and your standard blend pot that you can make yourself online. Well, from online schematics. Uh, one is that this has a treble bleed that's added to retain your tone when you turn the volume down because without a treble bleed it's not so apparent in basses but it's pretty apparent in guitars but you'll lose a little bit of a high end uh, but adding this type of uh, treble bleed on here will retain all of your high end regardless of how uh, low you turn the volume and there's a overall uh, I can't say output increase but it allows more of your pickup frequencies or the frequencies from your pickup to be allowed out with a treble bleed. The uh, effect is that a treble bleed on a pot such as this will change the taper a little bit but it's not it's not a J taper it's somewhere in between an audio and a linear taper. Second is the upgrade from the standard Borns pot to a CTS pot. These are quite different. Um, I don't use these anymore. I only use these now. These are more reliable. These are completely reliable actually. A um, little bit taller. Take up more real estate in the circuit. But the values are the same. It's a 250, 250K, 250K um, blend pot. Uh, besides reliability, the main difference is just uh, or one difference is there's a, a gradual detent point it feels feels like that on the on the other brands but on CTS it feels like a like there's a V cut in it and it clicks which is extremely hard to demonstrate on on camera but third and most important about this circuit is the percentage plate as I like to call it where you can, just by looking, you can tell and memorize for future reference what part of the, um, of the blend that you have. So full counterclockwise is bridge pickup, full clockwise is neck pickup, and you can really feel that middle. That detent <laughs> lets you know exactly where the middle position is, and also 50-50. So if I want you know, that much and then I look at it and I say, oh, it's you know, 35 or 45, then over here I've got uh, 60, which is, you know, tells me roughly you know, how much neck and, and bridge blend I have. So let's see how subtle these pots really are. What I'm going to show We'll turn the tone all the way up, the volume all the way up. We'll start on the neck. And hopefully, there we go. We'll start on the neck and show that we've got a full signal there. And very, 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 very slight signal on the bridge. And what we're going to do is we're just going to turn. You can see how the bridge slowly comes in, and there's 50. And then we're going to see how the, the bridge 
goes full. Going back the other way. Dies away. Same with the neck. Now it's at full neck, so we should get pure neck signal. Now don't don't take this as the the EQ of the pickups. I mean we're, we're tapping, so it's just just a reference. And what you're seeing there is 60 cycle hum. Hi, future Jeremy here. Uh, so we're at the part where I'm tapping on the pickups, and I should have mentioned I forgot to mention, but I should have mentioned that you're gonna hear a lot of uh, 60 cycle hum. If you notice, there's a lot of wires exposed and those pickups are exposed and they're not in a bird cage, you know, like copper, copper shielding, copper tape, whatever you call it. So there's gonna be a lot of hum, a lot more hum than, uh, than you would expect. But I put these on a, I hook the circuit up to a base here in a minute. So that hum will go away. So don't think, <laughs> Uh, it's 60 cycle hum yeah single coils are going to get a lot of hum anyway uh, but in this case when the wires and everything's exposed like that next to a computer there's wires running everywhere and powers flying through everything you're going to get some noise so i should have mentioned that so here i am so we're full neck Away. Let's get the bass guitar. So here we have a Fender Squire from the 90s that I used to test my circuits with. It is always gutted. go from neck and watch the EQ, watch it go from neck position to bridge. That's neck, tone is all the way up, that would be tone all the way down, tone's back all the way up. Let's hear the honk come in on the bridge. Thank you. 
So that's Abomination. This is my version of a blender circuit. The best part of my spin is the percentage plate where you'll know exactly what blend you want.